we've been mentioning this all day, but it is Shield 616 Day here on News 5 and the first day of the Border to Border Ride. This year's ride is raising money and donating gear to the entire Steamboat Springs Police Department and Black Forest Fire and Rescue. And News 5's Ira Cronin once again taking part in the ride. This morning joining us right now near the Wyoming border with an up, another update, Ira. Hey, good morning, Bree. From the Wyoming border, I heard Sam saying how foggy and soupy it was in the springs. It is clear. It's cold, but thankfully this year no wind, so all the riders will enjoy that a lot more. And uh, before we get to them, we'll start. Uh, I've got Cameron Halverson, another one of our first responders on the ride on Team Shield 616. We've been here since uh, this is year five for you. The ride is growing, and today we're doing it for an important cause. We've got Steamboat Springs PD covered. And now we want to get Black Forest Fire and Rescue covered. As a first responder, as a fellow firefighter, talk to our viewers about why every dollar will help and why it's so important for those guys. So the threats are not just limited to large city departments nowadays. Black Forest Fire, pretty much everybody they deal with in their response district, 90% of the time is armed. Um, threats are everywhere. So even though I work for the city of Colorado Springs, we've been very fortunate to have our entire department outfitted with this ballistic sh active shooter gear. Um, our goal now is to try to pass it forward to the departments that surround the city because when the day comes and a large scale active shooter event happens, everybody's going to have to come and work together. So it's good knowing that we'll be outfitted, PD is going to be outfitted. And then other first responders coming in will also be outfitted in the same level of protection. Yeah, and it really is that support and that community that will keep all of us warm while we're pedaling this morning. The sun will eventually come up, Jake, but uh, wow, you're five. Can you believe this? And uh, we're doing it for important reasons. You know, we are, and we're so thrilled that every year we've been able to grow this ride. And what I love that you're bringing to the table is every single one of you, the viewers, can make an impact, a potentially life-saving impact. So there's no donation amount too small. It all adds up at the end of the day, and it all adds up to protecting our protectors and keeping them safe. Yeah, so for our virtual telethon, no phone call to make, no phones to answer. Just head to KOA.com or Shield616.org. Look for the News 5 logo there. And uh, we're going to be doing this all day long. We're getting there. We got a $15,000 head start towards our $48,000 goal, so we know folks can check, check in, uh, check in, chip in, and help out. I was a little cold, so uh, I'm going to send this back to you, Bree. We're going to bundle up and get riding here in just a few minutes, but uh, reporting live and always watching out for you from the Wyoming border, Ira Cronin, News 5. Bree? All right, Ira, and they can check in. You can check in on the ride. You can learn more about our virtual telethon that's happening today for Black Forest Fire. You can learn how to make a donation. It's all at KOAA.com. Or you can go to shield616.org, and then you just click on the News 5 logo.